Ooh, one crack news. What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And without further ado, let's get to it. It's all lies on me, and I'm going to send that up like pop. What? <laughs> nah, let's get to it because we need to discuss this. This is probably happening state to state. But we need to address this because of where it's happening right now here today in America. America. Well, let's take it to Los Angeles County. As your boy Carcino lets it be known, as only he could do here on One Crack News. Let's fly. Over 60, almost 70 probational officers in the Los Angeles County have been relieved of their duties and terminated. And the reason they're being terminated is not for the reasons you may think of. Well, it probably is the reasons you think of. But look at this. They are gone. The administrative leave. Several misconduct allegations. Excessive use of force. Drug possession and sexual abuse. The Los Angeles County Probation Department announced that 66 of its officers were put on leave since January of this year. We're only in May. Five months. These officers were charged, or not charged, but they were assigned to the Department of Adult and Juvenile Operations and will face eternal affairs investigations. 39 of these officers were cited for issues of general misconduct, including suspected use of excessive force, child endangerment, abuse, possession, contraband, negligent supervision. 18 of them were put on leave for allegedly sex misconduct and nine for arrests unrelated to the employment. The nation's largest probation agency in the states. And they're trying to regain the public trust and single out employees who engage in these alleged misconducts. So they saying they are releasing the information to the public in the spirit of greater transparency to ensure that their stakeholders, that especially the families and youth of these juvenile facilities, that they will not tolerate anything that impedes on the mission to provide safe and nurturing, structured environment for their entrust to their care. This is what the probational chief Guillermo Vera Rosa said in a statement. There's nearly 2,800 sworn officers working at that department. And this is just 66 bad apples. So what do you choose to believe? What do you choose to take to heart? That's up to you. Now, you want to believe that there is only 66 bad apples that are doing these things with these probation officers. This is just Los Angeles. How many probation officers do you know that happen to be crooked? I knew a lot of them and have seen them. I would walk into my buddy's house and his P.O. will come there and they sitting there smoking a cigarette. And, and I'm like, the P.O.? He's like, oh, my P.O. cool, man. He's straight. The P.O. was dating his niece. Like, look, man, I'm a violent you know, ass if I don't hit this niece of yours. I'm like, my goodness. It was crazy. It was like full-on extortion. But he was cool with him. He was like, man, my P.O. gonna help me out with a pal. You know a dude that hit me up with a pound, man. He's like, you cool. I don't want you going back. <laughs> I need you out here. Like, it was so many crooked, doggone POs that we all knew. It was like, wow, this whole game is corrupt. And that's been like over 20 years ago. We knew a PO who was out there actually giving people work. It was like, look, I'm going to get your time reduced. And then it was a P.O. who was out there doing all kind of dope, buying dope, 
from the dope man that he got out the PO was like, yo, man, I'm your PO, so you straight. Just let me get my fix. Like, it's, it was crazy back in those days. This is like early 2000s, late 90s. It's 2024. Imagine where they at now. So if this is the case, you got to understand that the levels of the playing field is always changing and evolving. What to say is it just this small group? It isn't. It's more. Hopefully they're trying to scare the other people straight. That that's the goal. And that's where they're headed. Everybody can see it. Let's do the scared straight method. And now state by state, they're going to know it's a crackdown. And they're going to know it's serious. If they see this. This is the 66 that they know is dead to rights. <laughs> and some of them, you know... They've been getting warnings like, look, you better straighten it up because they they looking into you. You know, that's how they look at it. So it's no big stretch to say, hey, everybody here is is doing their own thing. They don't care. Most of these people do not care. They don't they don't function how you function. They move in a whole different format. And because they move in a different format, you have people that are basically, I want to say, you know, if, if it's at this level of probational officer, you're basically looking at everybody has a habit. Statistically speaking, no matter what your station in life is, somebody has a drug habit, somebody has an opioid problem, somebody has a gambling problem, somebody has some problem that can affect the way they govern or do their job. So now you're going to have to ask yourself, how are you compromised in the situation? How does this hurt you? Now, when it becomes an abuse of power, when you're in an authoritative position, it is imperative that you cannot have these people govern other people. It's only going to lead to a bigger lawsuits, more people having to be removed of power, and then some. So I just wanted to bring that up to echo a larger problem that's at stake. If the people that are paying that we all use our tax dollars to pay to take care of us isn't taking care of us, what is that saying to the rest of the people out there? We have to start waking up and taking responsibility for ourselves. And if we're not waking up and taking responsibility for ourselves, we're losing and we're failing the system. How are you going to expect the people to trust you in the community? when they don't trust you period <laughs> so it's like i don't know to me it just seems weird but hey i'm only human right i'm just a civilian so what do i know but this is what's happening now in los angeles county imagine what's happening in your state so just let that be known. We've seen POs shake down people for their pay, salary, get them jobs, and so they can say, hey, you got to kick me back 10% of what you get. I've seen that type of shit in our lives. That was in the 90s, 80s. So imagine in 2024 how that's working. Shakedowns, you know. It's, it's crazy, man. We had a police officer who was sleeping with a dude's wife. You know what I'm saying? Or he was going to violate dude. Like, he going to go back to jail if, if I ain't hitting her. You know what I'm saying? Like, he hitting the dude's wife. That's, it was... Well, he eventually went down for, for, for a whole host of other things. And, and the thing is now, all the people that trusted him in the city, all those cases he had, he had to let all those people go. So those cases were all had to be released.
and one of my boy had a case with him, so he was back on the streets. Now he was guilty from from sun up to sun down, but just <laughs> in this case, because dude was investigating, he was now out. And so now that his case got revoked, he was like celebrating, jumping up and down, like, yeah, I'm good. And they came and arrested him in the barbershop. Because all they did was find some other evidence on him to retry and refile on him and take him right back to jail. So he had a couple months out when he was going to do some dumb stuff where he should have laid low. Thought about doing some other things, but he didn't. So he went right back in. But just let that be the case, man. That you got to look at the whole scope of things and realize it's moving this crazy out here. Yes. And the next target, without you even knowing, could be you.